the critical thing is, you know, during a competition uh, stage, you know, you're working somewhat in isolation. And of course, now over the last uh, six months, we've had the ability to now talk with the various parties involved to develop the ideas. And we've had feedback from, uh, from all um, organisations that have had an input. And those inputs have, of course, been um, very, very important to us. Um, what we have done is we've improved all of, the, all of the parts, all of the small parts. And I think those would go on um, improving up until um, the day when the in, entire um, precinct is complete um, over the years. There'll be many architects involved, and, and, but you know, always sitting on this sort of backbone of a very strong, clear idea for this sort of wonderful new part of, of, of Sydney. The design of the hotel um, has evolved, but we've, um, we're, we're using the same um, components, as I say, which you know, we talked about it having the image of the, the tall ships coming into the, the, docks, the, the dock side. And it's important that I think it does have a sort of hint of an industrial um, um, of heritage to it. Bringing that pier closer um, inboard or closer to the um, to the sort of heart of the, the scheme where where the, it meets the new southerly cove we are actually bringing that pier in as part of the major civic space so it becomes a part of a space rather than an independent separate destination I think that will make it much more vibrant um, it's you know the, the the facilities then for the public along that pier um, great northerly aspect wind protected become something that will um, clearly encourage use, uh, I think, in a better way than we'd had previously. So I think it's a huge improvement, in fact. You know, we've got um, a, an agenda here in terms of sustainability, which is, you know, we haven't seen as a practice anywhere in the world. This is, you know, this is um, thinking for the future. Um, so bringing that into the development of, of building design has a, a sort of huge impact in the way that um, a building will manifest itself architecturally. When we submitted in November the, the scheme um, I think was slightly too divisive in terms of commercial district, residential district. Um, um, we, I think one of the major change I think that might have happened um, between then and now is the discussion particularly with um, through Yang Gil's ad, uh, advice um, and City of Sydney looking at how we can improve the public realm um, and the um, decision was taken to, to spread the mix of activities across the site in a far better way. I think we've got a you know, massive improvement now in the layering of, of the mix of activities across the site. So retail, you know, leisure and culture, um, education, um, the commercial, and of course the residential. It's, it's, it's far less easy to distinguish the, the, the places by their, by their mix.
Barangaroo is the extension of the CBD area with one big advantage, in fact, two big advantages. One is that it is live, work, leisure, and not only offices, which is a much more sustainable form, and secondly, it is on the water's edge. At the moment, the piece of ground is this a great sheet of concrete. It's quite hideous. Clearly needs development, clearly needs to be uh, both public and private. Over half of the site has been made into a park, and the other half links back to what has been built to now. None of our buildings, I believe, are taller than the tallest buildings in the CBD areas. And of course, there are many which are smaller. So that's the scale. There's all I don't know anybody who knows how to use their leisure life as well as the people of Sydney. The whole concept of sailing, swimming, sports, work and so on, restaurants and so on, is well worked out. And the way this reflects it, and especially the water's edge. So that marriage of water to building is the way that we've approached this. And I think we've got now a real continuity of, uh, of that development. If you're the citizens of Sydney like Sydney, then we've tried to give you a piece of Sydney, a piece of the best part of Sydney, which is gives it the, that vitality, that uniqueness that is, is Sydney.